laughs galore tonight when Ted's running battle with the kids from the Catholic school develops into full-scale war when the Kingswood's aerial is broken off on Kingswood country. But to get you started, it's the Thames men. Hello! How are you? I'm all right. Why have you got the scarf? Oh, I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. My name is Alex, and I am wearing a scarf in San Francisco. And before my men- friend mentions it, it's a fashion item. It's a fashion item, is it? Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, is that is that what they pass for fashion now? Yes. And and uh, I can see, you know, uh, there you are, the uh, the uh, the the forefront of fashion with your real in t shirt. Oh, the amount of the hard time you gave me for my beanie, you know. Actually it's getting towards winter I can start wearing my beanie again, can't I? That's why I'm wearing this. It's been bloody cold. Is it cold up there? And yes, it's been bloody cold. And also, like, you know, I was wearing a green sweater before we began. <laughs> and if you don't know, the these posters here. They're not real. <laughs> Yo. They're, uh, we're, oh, I gave the whole illusion away, didn't I? And I was wearing a green sweater, and then so you could see I had posters on me. So, you know. <laughs> you were, so this is chill, chill away from my manly chest. Chill away from your chest, have you? Don't get yeah, yeah, too yeah. chesty. Yeah. But also, you know, also this, you know, the old, you know I can. You, know, you, you know, look like, like an art student from like a 1980s university, though. I'll take that because <laughs> lots of good bands came from, um, you know, that uh, you look like you've just come out uh, of a working man's club at six o'clock in the morning. That's okay. I'll take that. That's okay. <laughs> that's that's appro- a wo- appropriate for Chisel Week. As a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, after we've insulted each other with light bandit humor, oh, there was a. Oh, I read his article, and it was, we all know it that men uh, ingratiate themselves, and the strength of the test is that with men is that they can insult each other and not take insult. So, it's a strength of uh, test of friendship all the time. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, all right. That's what it is. And also, uh, on the same article, and they were talking about how women are very aggressive verbally. And they use emotion as a weapon. We use violence as a weapon. Um, so that's why women are basically bitchy to each other all the time. Mm-hmm. And men can, but we also, we overcome uh, our kind of, if we can have a fight and then um, 70% of men are able to sort it out and then be able to share a beer. But women, only like 10% of women ever get over a fight with another woman. They just will not reconcile. Ah, I, I was... And, Watching uh, like one of my favorite TV shows, I just finished the season one, which was called Re- Wrexham FC, which was the story uh, like is like a reality show of of uh, Ryan Reynolds uh, and um, I can't remember, I can never remember the name of the other guy, a TV a star, you know, Hollywood at Sky, uh, buying Wrexham Football Club in Wales. Anyway, the the whole is like eighteen episodes of reality of watching this football club, and it's great. It's a really good show. But they had one show examining their friendship, and it was talking about bromance. And that's this is where the point of coming, you know. And I hate the word bromance, but uh, it, you know, it was very much like you said. Like uh, there isn't really a female equivalent to bromance. No, no, and, and you know why female uh, uh, like uh, will hang out with gays, uh, gay guys so much? It's because <clears throat> they trust fashion advice from a gay. Uh, rather than fashion advice from a female, because they don't trust what the other female says. Oh, really? Where do you get all this information from? Um, and uh, yeah, and we, uh, I was talking to you know, me and the boys. I've got boy uh, boys. We were trying to tell my wife about the bro code. E- that even if, even if in a warring party, one party against another party of men, you're still not allowed to kick the other man in the balls. That's bro code, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like that. Even at war, we have a bro code. Uh, well, you know. Uh, uh, well, it comes back to that. Uh, yeah. We had talk about the Geneva Convention the other day. You know. Well, yeah, but anyway, so that is when when we do uh, when we have a little insults at each other. That's always testing the friendship, you little cocksucker, <laughs> you a hole. <laughs> I love you, well, man. I'm not going to go off in a real bitchy and not make up with you. But oh dear. anyway, um, well, well, there you go. A bit of social, a bit of so, social, uh, you know, uh, biology for you. Yeah, but and um, you've reached us in the middle of. 
Chisel week. Sweet. Well, we love cold chisel. So, so we've had Australian weeks. Uh, we've got we've got a great uh, partner in Chris, uh, who's down in Melbourne, I believe, uh, who's been helping curate things for us, and he's been introducing us to the wonders of Australian pub rock. And cold chisel is something else. They are like yeah, like, like a double headed monster. Now we're allowed to say pub rock, aren't we? It does come from pub rock originally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah. Well, this this song is called Janelle. Okay, all right, and we got some notes. Can I read the notes? Shall I read them? I'll, re- I'll read, you want to read the notes. notes? You read, you read the, the notes. notes. Oh, I'll, t- I'll try having a, a crack. Okay, at you, have, notes, you have a crack. Ah, oh, a crack at the notes. <laughs> 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 a period. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm going to miss myself one day, and just you know, appearing on was effectively a uh, post humorous album for the band. 20th century, a number of songs had been played uh, live during the last uh, stand tour before appearing on the album. What a great name for you know, last stand, the last tour, yeah. the last stand. Yeah. Right? It's like my dad; he's a musician, yeah. and uh, you know he should have retired years and years ago. He keeps talking about he's on another milk tour. <laughs> <laughs> Just milk at one more time. <laughs> the tour was in 83. The album came out in 84. And the band had split by the time their reunion in 88. Uh, by that time in 88. Musically, however, they still sounded great. As this blues, uh, Walker wrote for his younger daughter, Danielle. Who, is that Danielle? Or was that meant to no, be Jan- Dan- Danielle, uh, yeah. Janelle? And, and it, uh, and it, uh, yeah, it's Danielle. Okay, I'm going to go with Danielle. I'm going to go with Trust Danielle. Trust me, it's Danielle. Okay. Yeah. Read, keep okay, reading ahead Danielle. and you'll see. I can't read ahead. I'm concentrating on the word. Okay, you do, do that. I'm so glad you read this one. That's reading. That's reading. You concentrate on the word. Okay. I can't read ahead because that's not reading. Ah. That's skipping ahead. Okay. All right, I, I skipped ahead while you were reading. Read. I know I know the end of this story. I've got it. I've got it down. So trust me, read ahead. You it's see, Danielle. You see, this this is bro code. You see, I'll do the word, and you can read ahead, and together we can get, we'll there. get there. I won't kick you in the balls. No. <laughs> if you do, we'll share a pint later and make up. <laughs> well, that sounds good. All right, yeah. It's worth it for me. I get to kick you in the balls, and I get a pint? That sounds like a deal. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'll take that. Bro code, you can't kick me in the balls. But you still tell I get You're, a pint at the end. No, no. The bro code is you don't oh, kick me in don't. the balls. Oh, I'm getting confused. Mind. Carry on reading. Look, Danielle, you were. That's where you were. <gasps> Young daughter Danielle, who, I'm doing the reading, I'm reading the words, who was missing whilst the tour confirms. What? Anyway, no. on some later <laughs> report. He was missing his daughter <laughs> whilst on tour. You know I shouldn't have been. I, you know I shouldn't do my job. You know what job I should do? I should be a butcher. <laughs> I can put you in. <laughs> oh, you want a piece of fucking leg a lamp? Fine, I read that. You want me to read this? I'll butcher that. I tell you, you want me to read notes? I can butcher that. Oh, you want to do a reaction channel? I can butcher anything. I tell you. Anyway, fuck it. Basically, <laughs> he was with his daughter Danielle, but Janelle was preferred for the sound. So they took the name Danielle and changed it to Janelle. Yeah, it probably rhymed better with something, or you know. So. No, <laughs> they both end in L. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm not a musician, not like you. So. <laughs> Can we just get on with the track now? Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. can't wait Let's to hear it. if it's Danielle, Danielle or Janielle or whatever it's called. So. Right. I'm glad I did the, I'm glad I did the reading. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting me try. Anytime. Anytime. Uh, it's entertaining uh, in itself. <laughs> it's a mystery, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna have a meat cleaver. <laughs> right. Uh Janelle, aka Danielle. Danielle. Three, two, one boom. We got some new songs. And we think they're okay, so we got them out to try them out on you. That sounds great. Tonight, sweet dreams, the world is well. 
I love the fact the piano was more up front, you know, and it, it, it almost had the Hammond organ sound for you, but not quite Hammond. It was a Hammond. Was that a Hammond? I was, I didn't. That was a Hammond ish. without the Leslie. On. That okay, that was that a, was yeah, a... it was yeah, but it was it was a it was a, it was a synthesized Hammond. I think it wasn't a real Hammond. Was it? No, it was a Hammond. Was it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go back and check. I'm pretty sure. I'm 99 percent sure that was a Hammond. I absolutely love their harmonies in that. Yeah, those two yeah. guys' voices. Uh, at the when uh, they. The, the the harmony was so so great. They, they blend really well, considering that they are you know bros, you know, and they're about they're not going to kick each other in the balls, where well, they probably have. But the the fact that they just blend together when they are quite different is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And the also I can see why they took the uh, Danell uh, because that's quite a hard sound. Oh, yeah, and you know, but changing it to the J, it's a much softer sound. And if you're doing the harmonies on there, it just works a lot nicer. And it was, it was a really, really, I mean, really nice song. And for the first, I loved it for the f first time I've heard that song ever. And I felt like just singing along or whistling to it. It was a great track. It was superb. I mean, I can imagine. Can you imagine being in Australia when you've you've sort of been in love with this band and then they break up? You'd be just like how can that be can't you just get on because like everything we've seen they've done is amazing it's like uh, i mean it, mu it must have been a hell of a blow like to say hey you know uh, i mean obviously they reformed in 88 to do this or sort of stuff but 
you know, it was uh, amazing. Yeah, but there again, we saw Barnsley do uh, a Deep Purple cover recently with Joe Bossom, jo- Bossomasso. Go ba- yeah, go back and watch that, everyone. That was just, uh, we'll put it up behind us on, on the video um, while we're talking. That was an absolute killer that joke. The guy killer. still got his voice. And, um, the uh, you know, also Barnsley there, my God, he's a force of nature, obviously. But also, at the end, he was really so tender with his voice. Yeah, he had a, he had a he, softness to it, didn't he? You know. Yeah, 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 and it was it was really nice. But I, I, it was a harmonies for me. That everything about that song was the harmonies. It was exquisite, absolutely exquisite, and they worked so well. You're right, bro code without the kick in the balls and sharing a pint later and having a perfect third harmony. Yeah, no, that was great. That was a really like again, you know, uh, tracks we've never heard, but amazing. So, how are we going to top this? Thank you, everyone. Um, yeah, thank you, Chris, for putting this all together. And thank you also, Australia, for having a band like Cold Chisel. And I'm sorry, the rest of the world, that you haven't seen Cold Chisel. Hopefully, this channel, and not that it needs Cold Chisel need pushing at all, but you know, hopefully, we're getting out to all the other audience we have out in the US because they are superb. Yeah, so like and subscribe because that helps promote our numbers, helps push out, yeah. like you know, the 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 algorithm we're always fighting the youtube algorithm so that more people can see what we do if more people see it they get to hear the more bands you know um and uh, we can sort of keep on creating content because we like doing it also check down there check the rare merch, rare merch. if there's anything left on a rare merch pick it up because we got a we're, gonna ha- we're having a new uh load of t-shirts soon so hopefully um yeah super limited coming up to christmas god can you imagine that Tends to be doing a Christmas advert mm-hmm. and, you know, coming out with a promo for t shirts Oh, and we're talking about Christmas. We're going to do the 12 days of Christmas. We are. That's going to be unique. So what we're, what we're doing is we're doing a bit of analytics, aren't we? Yeah, we're looking at the, tw- the bands in the history of the channel who've had the 12 bands who've had the biggest numbers. And we'll be doing a countdown yeah. to Christmas. And then so we're going to take those 12 bands, so different band for each day of christmas so we're going to pick a different track that we haven't done for each other band and we're going to be counted down from number 12 to the biggest band so i'm pretty sure there's going to be uh some aussie bands in there because we've been i think so because it's popular stuff how high will they go will they get to who knows well i mean maybe if they get more views before we record it you know the the chart might change as well so 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 watch this if you want if you want cold chisel to go up the charts Make sure you watch it a million times. <laughs> you see my beautiful face. All right. <laughs> Take care. I'll see you uh, uh, for another day of Cold Chisel tomorrow. See you on the flip side. Bye.